In this topic, we are going to discuss about the type of international assignments. Uh, international assignments are classified into two types. One are the traditional uh, international assignments, and the other type is the non-traditional type of international assignments. So let's take a look that within these two classifications, what are the different types of international assignments? So within the traditional uh, type of assignments, uh, the first one is short-term assignments, which are it, uh, an assignment is considered to be a short-term assignment if it is up to three months. Uh, assignments which are given for a short period of time, they are usually for the purpose of filling up some, uh, in, some urgent uh, requirement. Uh, they are usually for troubleshooting, ke kahi pe koi problem ho gaya hai, koi crisis ho gaya hai, uh, machinery ka koi crisis ho gaya hai, ya supply management ka koi crisis ho gaya hai. To us crisis ko deal karne ke liye, agar aapki uh, jo subsidiary hai, uske andar um, human resources available nahi hai, to technical log jo hai, wo bahir se do mahine, ek mahine ke liye, bheje jate hai, us troubleshooting karne ke liye. Then for project supervision, if a project launch ho raha hai, to sometimes ye ke aapki subsidiary ke paas wo human resources available nahi hoti, ya ye ke um, aap chate hai ke aap apne parent country se wo uh, uh, supervision aap bheje ta ke uh, aapka jo project hai wo aapki strategic objective ke mutabik launch ho sake. So for that purpose, um, a short term assignment is given to um, uh, international expatriates and it could be for a stop gap measure so stop gap measure could be taken ke ek jagah pe aapke management position jo hai wo vacant ho gayi hai uh, for example if the person has left without any notice or koi khuda na khasta koi uh, urgent problem ho gaya hai um, death ho jati hai logon ki to usme us situation mein um, the stop gap arrangement has to be made so a short term assignment is given for these particular purposes. The second type is the extended type of international assignment, which is up to one year. And the reason for these particular assignments is also uh, similar activities at that, as that for short term. So sometimes you have troubleshooting ke liye thoda zyada time chahiye, ya aapko project jo hai launch karwane ke liye. It's not possible to be done in three months. Uh, to extend ho jata hai. so that is why we call it an extended international assignment and then finally uh, the third type of uh, um, inter traditional international assignment is a long term one which varies from one to up to five years uh, so that type of assignment is actually termed as a traditional expatriate assignment so that is the situation in which the person who is uh, moving from one country to the other country actually becomes an expatriate. Otherwise, in the short term one, the person would not be considered as an expatriate who has moved from one location to the other. He would be considered a, um, a person who is uh, a non-expatriate uh, uh, person who is filling a particular position for um, uh, for for short term purposes. So a long term assignment is the one which actually uh, makes a person an expatriate, and that is considered to be a traditional expatriate assignment. And in that traditional expatriate assignment, then there is a clearly defined role in the receiving operation. Uh, for example, a person may be hired as head of operations of uh, of the subsidiary a person may be hired as the uh, project director of a particular project the person may be hired as head of finance or marketing or whatever role is required to be filled by the uh, by the expatriate so there is always for a long term assignment there is a clearly defined role there is a clearly defined job description there is a clearly defined objective and um, then uh, there are clearly defined outcomes which are expected from the person who is coming as an expatriate in the subsidiary role. 
all right so these are the three types of assignments which are uh, which are considered to be traditional international assignments then we look at some non standard or non traditional type of international assignments so in the, in this category there are basically four types of uh, non standard assignments uh, number one is the commuter commuter you can understand from the word a person who commutes from one place to the other so um, people commute for their um, uh, for the, for their from their workplace to their home place every day but in the international scenario the commuter is considered to be a person who commutes from the uh, parent organization to the subsidiary organization uh, on a on a regular basis so a commuter is somebody who go who goes home every one to two weeks so it is possible when the two countries are located nearby for example if it is pakistan and afghanistan or it is um, uh, uh, it is saudi arabia or, uh, or 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 dubai or it is um, north america may if it is america and canada and people are located um, uh, close by they can cross the borders and uh, they can commute and in europe uh, european countries uh, they are really small and their boundaries are really open so in the in uh, these type of assignments are very much common in the european countries where people can just move from one uh, place to the other and it's actually moving countries uh, but it because it is so easy and they are so closely located it is something which is very common over there uh then the second type of non standard assignment is a rotational assignment in which the person commutes uh for a set period followed by a break in the home country so it is possible that a person goes for one or two weeks and then comes to the comes back to the home country and stays there for a month or two months or for maybe for a longer period of time and then also uh goes again after one or two weeks so that is according to the requirement of the position if the requirement of the position is so that the person is required only for one or two weeks in a particular position and country then the person can commute uh the third type is that of contractual assignment so people are hired outsourced for 6 to 12 months and they are given uh the position because of their specific skills and uh, uh, they are for some specific projects so to achieve uh, uh, the skill gap people are hired and because that uh, position is something which is not a long term position for example agar aapko market research karni hai to market research aap you, you don't do it uh, you, you need to do market research for a new product launch so maybe you don't your company does not have a very much sophisticated marketing department and what you do is that you hire a person to do market research for that particular area and that position and project is given to that person for 6 to 12 months and it is on the contractual basis and not something which is that uh, which is a per permanent position in the organization and finally the fourth type of non standard um, international assignment is that virtual one virtual assignment is that in which you are working and Uh, uh you are fulfilling the role of a person in some other country but you are staying in your own home country so you are um uh, you are managing the international responsibilities from uh the based fr from being based in the home country so uh, virtual assignment and you would very much be uh you know um conversant and familiar with this fact that virtual assignments are really something which are in trend these days uh, the lecture that you are listening to right now is also a virtual assignment i am giving the lecture somewhere else and you are listening probably at some other time and in probably in some other location so this is a virtual assignment which i am fulfilling right now so virtual assignments are something which are that of a non standard of um, non standard um, type and they are something which are emerging and becoming very much uh, pervasive in the current uh, scenario of uh, globalization and uh, uh, and and the borders are being uh, they are disappearing 
All right, so a virtual assignment is also a type of non-standard assignment. So in this topic, we have discussed the two basic categories of international assignments, which is one is the traditional international assignments, and the second one are the non-traditional or non-standard international assignments. So this was the uh, content of this topic.